Ooh, welcome back everyone to Data Science for Everyone. Today we're going to be looking at data tables with Bokeh. Let's get started. So let's go on and create up a new file. And this one we're going to be calling this uh, data tables, uh, and I'll call this Bokeh. Data tables.py. And this is uh, actually um, probably one of my more uh, favorite things to do, and it's actually very quick and simple. It's to make a nice interactive um, graphic, or not graphic, but um, plot and so this is actually what we're going to be making today uh, if you notice here it's just a summary uh, statistics of some um, some um, some stock data and it will uh, go on and allow you to kind of do some interactive uh, graphics and whatnot and this is fantastic for whenever you're doing dashboards or anything else um, and we will uh, zoom in a little bit so you guys can kind of see how that looks um, and this is what we're going to be doing um, and we'll maybe do some cleaning up um, uh, a little bit as well just so that we can kind of play with it um, and whatnot so let's go on and get back to that so first off we want to make sure and import pandas as PD we also want from uh, bokeh.plotting we want to import show um, and again since we're not creating a figure we don't need that right now uh, we could do that later on to have it uh, show um, stock data or, or whatever else as well uh, the next thing that we want to do here is do from uh, bokeh dot um, let's do models here we need a couple things we want to import our column data source not column or our column data source we want our data table and here and we also want a table column and, and that's for a little bit of an added bonus that we're going to do later so uh, from bokeh dot uh, sample data dot stocks we're going to import, um, let's do Apple today. So first off, let's go on and um, if, if actually, let me print type here of um, Apple. And so let me run this and we will see here that down here that this is actually a dictionary. So we need to make sure and change this. So that's what we need the pandas for. And we'll call this um, DF, so PD dot uh, data frame in here and we'll grab Apple um, and if we wanted to do uh, some sort of data cleaning on it we could um, and maybe to make this so let me go back over here this is actually what we had and it has actually all the stock data and I think we're gonna keep all of them for now um, and so let's go on and do make some stats in here so DF dot describe um, and we're also going to want to reset um, the index. And the reason that we're going to do this, this makes um, the, uh, let me actually go on and just do this. Let me do um, print stats here and then um, print and let's do something like a, equal sign multiplied by 20 whoops multiply by 20 and then let's do something like print stats dot um, reset index so let me pull up the terminal a little way so we can see this now there's a couple things that are going on here and maybe let me do this by 200 100 all right so it's clear now um, and let me go on and do this one more time so that everything is actually clear for you guys when we're discussing this so first off this is the first one um, we're actually going through and um, doing the descriptive statistics now it technically inside here it has this um, this uh, the index here is actually set now we will run into problems when we want to turn this into a column data source and we want to have this output as a um, as an index. The thing is that right now the functionality doesn't work very well for it to just import an index directly to the data table. So we're going to reset it as its own um, column and then we'll just mute the index uh, in our data table later on. So maybe another thing that we would want to do is when we reset the index, um, we may want to uh, give it a name change as well. Um, so we can do that, but I'm gonna just ignore that for now and we'll come back and maybe make it a little bit prettier 
later on. So I'm going to go on and delete all of this and I'm going to do a reset index. And do we actually want to, um, rename it? I don't really think, um, we want to, and I don't think we want to drop it either. So let's just, let's just leave it as is for now. Now, the next thing that we're going to want to do is to go on and, um, create our source data. So we'll use the column data source and then we'll just use stats. Now again, you can you can also do a subset like if you just wanted to show the head of the data or you wanted to show um, heck if you had maybe two um, two stocks and you want to show the correlation plot or something like that between them you could. Um, but again, we're just doing we're just doing the basics right now. Source and another thing that we need to do is give the column. So I'm going to do uh, columns here and we need to use this um, this uh, table column format and we need a field here and um, I'm gonna say call and I'm also gonna do title here is equal to call and we'll make this better in a little bit for call in stats.columns and what this will do is I'm using um, less comprehension here to um, create a bunch, a list of table columns um, so that when we field uh, this in, our data is actually going to um, go directly into our uh, data table. So here, let's actually go on and create our data table as well. And we'll, we'll do, again, we'll do a, a clean everything up here in just a little bit. So data table, and it's gonna be a data table. And here we have our source, is going to be our source and um, I can actually, let me just show you if we just run this without anything. Okay, it runs and, oh, whoops. And I need to do show, show data table. I can run this and see if we don't put in the columns, nothing pops up. Okay, so it's very important for us to actually add in the columns, which we'll do now. We'll do columns is equal to columns. I can show you guys. All right, now this looks pretty pretty good. But one thing is that I would like to make sure that it maybe stretch fits um, based on the width. So then everything looks a little bit clean. And again, you can see here that um, the indices are there. Now, one thing that we notice here is that this is just a number index. Again, um, we'll go, let's go on and mute this. Okay, and we'll also give it some stretch uh, width so that it's actually the width of the screen that fills it up. Um, or we can just actually just maybe give it a basic width and height as well. So let's go on and do something like, um, let's do a width here and say that it's uh, 500 and a height is going to be, let's just, let's just make it 250 for now. Uh, and then another thing that we want to do is uh, index position here is none. We'll run this. And so now we actually have a nice um, a, a nice table in here where index here is count, mean, standard deviation, min, 25%, 50%, 75%. And what's nice with this is that if you click any of these rows, you can see here that it actually highlights uh, the row that they're interacting with. You can use uh, JavaScript and a couple other things to um, uh, automate these so that they look uh, better. We could even maybe say we want to do this in pandas and say we want this to be rounded to two decimal places. Now one thing that I'm not exactly happy with is how this looks up here because again we used this uh, list comprehension just to grab the column names. So let's go on and uh, customize this uh, a little bit more. So I'm gonna turn off this particular columns list comprehension that we did and we're going to go on and make this um, a little bit cleaner and let me zoom in so that you guys can see things a little bit better. So let's do something like a, a columns is equal to, and what we will do is do a table column in here, field is equal to index, and then I'm going to say title here is going to be stats uh, for the statistics. And then we'll go through and we'll do this for all of the columns uh, that we have in there. So when it's open, and I'll make this a title 
Oh. Open table field here. Um, and you know what? Uh, this is field. And so then we'll also do hi. And again, this is um, uh, going to take me um, a little bit. And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to kind of just uh, fast forward in here and you guys can follow along in a second. Okay, and so I did a quick um, time skip there so that I actually just uh, typed all this out. Um, and so you can see here that now we have this for each of the columns that we want in there. And once we go through and we um, run this, uh, we'll actually see now that Oh, and that everything is actually uh, as we had typed it out there with the titles. Um, one thing that we want to do is probably make this a little bit longer. Uh, so we can do this as maybe we'll change this to what? Let's change this to, uh, let's say, 800 by uh, 400. We'll make it 400. We'll make it a little bit bigger. And so here, if I zoom out we can see now that we have um, again our nice uh, table we can interact with it we can um, again play with the numbering a little bit as well um, and again you can add in all types of functionality you can clean all it up to however you want you can add in JavaScript script callbacks for to have it do things for you as well um, but if you guys found this useful um, and you like this uh, and you want more of these types of videos, please comment, subscribe, and hit that like button. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.